Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we are here on the left coast in uh, sunny-ish uh, San Jose, California, just south of San Francisco. And we're here on a two-game California road trip. First stop, the first place team in the Curiosity Division. Uh, and we're trying to get our, our second win in our eighth game. Yeah, not uh, not the way the B Wolves would have liked to have started, but uh, th it is what it is, and you just got to start from there and try to get uh, try to start racking up some wins, man. Yeah, well, um, you know, looking at our schedule, I'll go back to our schedule because there's actually other games to report on that are going to change the standings before this game starts. So we'll just venture into that last game, uh, a loss handed to us. It was it was it was another last place team. We should have beat them. But uh, the front runners came to play, and even in the top of the first, Vincenzo, Vincenzo comes up, and he gets a ground out, but it's an RBI. So right there, the front runners are setting the pace for what's going to be no offense for us. And then down in the bottom or the top of the third, I'm sorry, the the front runners almost put another one on with Jonas Trickster with two outs and two strikes, nails one deep out in the right field. Billy LeBoy's going back for it. He makes this. Diving grab, Pete. It's, a, it's like the third time we've seen him make a crazy catch like this. Yeah, we've seen, and we've seen it uh, from Magic Moore as well. The outfield is really playing very well defensively. Um, unfortunately, their bats are not uh, playing as well. Yeah, yeah, and at 41 years old, so good, good for for um, LeBlanc there. In the top of the fourth, Club then comes up with a runner on third and hits this easy pop up that should have been caught. But it lands between three B wolves. They, miscommunication drops right in the middle. They get their second run, and that was going to be it for the game. Like you said, the B wolves could not muster any offense. Finally, here in the bottom of the ninth, Billy the Boy comes up, hits this grounder to second base, and the front runners end it in a shutout, two zip. Yeah, yeah. The the, the uh, B wolves have not scored a run in 18 innings. They've been outscored 22 to four in their last four games. Jeez, yeah, I'm looking at that right now. Holy cow. They didn't score against the burners or the front runners. Nope. And now they got the saw teeth. And I think they only, they only scored one against the uh, overdogs as well, so. Yeah. Yeah, so in four games, only four runs. Four runs in yeah. four games. Oh, well, I don't know about Big Out Bowl. I mean, um, you know, I think I think we're, we're sort of on a fence here. It's, we've done well, we haven't done well. But let's, let's talk about those other 13 games because that's going to tell you where everyone's at right now. So, Pete, why don't you start us off with the Blowfish over in San Diego at the Platypi? You got it. Ah, okay. Now we'll go back here, and now we'll tell you about the Blowfish the Platypi. There it is. Okay, the Blowfish take on the Platypi, and the Blowfish take it 9-4. The Moose down in the floor to play in the Freebooters. Moose all day, 5-0. Moonstars take it on the Heaters. The heaters out front early. It's back and forth, and ultimately the Moonstars take it 7-6. we got to play them soon. Arctic's in, uh, out here playing the Outlaws. Or not out here, but down 10-7 uh, Outlaws. Nevisus take it on the Surlites. Surlites take that one 4-3. Wild Pigs over here at the Grapplers, and the Wild Pigs beat them 7-5. Water Bullets take it on the Jacks. It's a back and forth battle, and it's Water Bullets 8-4 and 13. Buzzards to the Gold Coats. Gold Coats 3-1. Wide loads in the Freedom. It's wide loads two. Freedom one. Burners and Phoenix play Sandcats. Hey, Sandcats beat them four one. Sawteeth taking on the Crocs, and it's Sawteeth taking that one four to one. Uh, 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 Herbert source of the Overdogs. I didn't even catch the score. Hot corners in the Warblers, and it's the Warblers seven to four with a home win. Oh boy, yeah, I didn't even catch the score on that stinking <laughs> game. All right, hold on one second. Okay, so well, first tell us how that is. Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division. Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division. The Moose are sitting atop with a record of five and two. The Burners just behind them with a record of four and three. It maintains second place and are a game out of first place. In the Uncharted Division, you got the Colorado Buzzards are five and two, seven fourteen. Uh, that looks to be the first place, basically first place in almost every division. Uh, they are one full game ahead of the Outlaws and the Wild Pigs, who also have winning records at four and three. Down in the Journey Division, the Arctics and the Freebooters are knotted up in first place with records of 5-2. and two. Behind them, um, tied for second, are the Grapplers and Sandcats. They have records of 3-4, and four, and they're both two games out of first place. There you go. In our Explorer Conference, the Seafarer Division, get this. The Overdogs, 
<laughs> have a technically first place. They are tied first place with 4 and 3 record with the Gold Coats and the Jacks, who are all one game ahead of both the front runners and the Heaters, who are 3 and 4. And the Overdogs with the only plus <laughs> run differential in those three teams. Yeah. The trade division, Sirloins once again locked in in first place. It, it takes a wedge to get them out of first place. <laughs> So they're sitting atop uh, the trade division with a record of five and two. The Water Bullets and Herbosaurus in second place with records of three and four. They're both sitting two games back of the Sirloins and our very own B-Wolves with a lowly <laughs> record of one win and six losses are four games out of first place with a negative 18 run differential. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, boy. All right. And then the Curiosity Division. These saw teeth we're going to face off against today are five and two in first place with a plus 11 run differential. No. Uh, they are a game ahead of everyone else in the division. The Warblers, Mood Stores, and the Wide Loads. The whole division has a winning record. Yeah, so we're averaging giving up 18 runs. The Saw Teeth are averaging scoring 11, so they'll be able to score their full set. Should yeah, be. <laughs> they will pound us today. There is no, I don't even know why we're doing this. <laughs> but Yeah, and the B-Wolves with the worst <clears throat> run differential in the league. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we're gluttons for punishment, aren't we? Yes, we are. And this brings us to game 8 of 44. Our B-Wolves, who are 1 and 6, they got nothing to lose. Uh, they're going up against the Saw Teeth, our bullpen beasts. Look at that. Uh, they're, they're only at their worst um, factor is, is average in speed. Everywhere else, they're better. <laughs> they're yeah, well-rounded. Yeah, one-click better. Yeah. We're going to be throwing Deshaun Levon at him. Deshaun's our only southpaw. The left-hander is known mostly for his accuracy. He's accurate, more accurate than most. He's got enough velocity and junk on it to make things interesting. He's got no one-run record, so he's looking to even up his season. He's got a, a 4.15 ERA, which isn't bad, and a 0 0.58 whip, and he's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, he does. And coming up behind him, Buster Biggs in left field with uh, good power, good connectivity, and very good speed. He's hitting 296 with two home runs, 30 Woodman at first base with uh, better than average power, good connectivity, uh, and... Uh, a less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 263 with a home run. Steve Montstour, the catcher, with a little bit better than average power, about average ability to connect at home plate. Average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 214 with no home runs so far this season. And you've got to say, Woody, Sturdy Woodman, the best beard in the league. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That goes without saying, my friend. <laughs> well trimmed. Which is why I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You know, why you mentioned that stuff? Everybody knows. Starting pitcher Raul Strikes is going to be the right-hander that the Saw Teeth throw out there on the mound. He is uh, a little bit, um, he's a little tense. He's known mostly for his accuracy. He throws good junk, though, and he's got okay velocity. He's only one as well on the season with a 7.2 ERA with a 1.60 whip. So if there's any pitcher uh, that we want to go against, it's Strikes. Definitely. Definitely. And then backing him up, of course, uh, Murderer's Row here. You got uh, Bronco <laughs> in right field. He's locked in. He's got... Uh, Better than average power, good ability to connect, and average uh, better than average speed, hitting 346 with four home runs. Oh, Kobe Kingman, the name we know well here in Phoenix. He's locked in, playing first base, excellent power. Uh, he's got poor ability to connect and, uh, and a little bit less than average speed on the base pass. He's outperforming his career stats, though, so he's getting a little bit of a bump by virtue of being locked in. He's hitting 222 with two home runs, and then you got Jay Ranero, the shortstop, who's tense right now, but he's got excellent power as well. He's got about average ability to connect and uh, pretty good speed on the base pass. So he's hitting a paltry 192 with a one home run, so he hasn't gotten off to a quick start here in the season. Yeah, I gotta be careful when we throw to these guys, apparently. They got some long ball hitters. We are going to get the lineup from the assistant coach. Looks like this, Pete. Whoa. Oh no no okay we it says Handley's coming back but I think we should we should let him rest another game he's not quite a hundred percent what do you think there? I well <laughs> I don't know I I guess I kind of agree yeah I just, got people outside my office holding signs that going slammers <laughs> slammers oh that's right that's right I forgot about it uh, so Gita Torrance could come in she's good she's tense but she's gonna come in and give it one more try. Uh, yeah, I'd Judas. rather play a tense player than a hurt player. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna give Dex really wanted to play, but uh, Skipper said no, man. We need you. We need you 100 uh, percent down in San Diego. So he's gonna play at the Colonial Plaza. Gina Torrance is gonna bat first and play shortstop. Billy LeBoink's gonna bat second, play right field. 
In left field is going to be Buster Biggs as usual. He'll bat third, batting fourth. Cleanup, Sturdy Woodman at first base. We're looking for some more offense from Sturdy here, uh, who's been, who's a, had a good first game and then has kind of uh, sat on the sidelines for a while. Batting fifth, second base, uh, Frederick Knox. Sixth is Magic Moore in center field. At third base, Bertha Banks. She'll bat seventh. Batting eighth, Eliza Peck's going to come back in, make a little, a little appearance here behind the plate. And Deshaun Levon is going to pitch on the mound to bat ninth. He throws the forefinger, the two-finger, the slider, and the changeup. And Pete, welcome to Bingata Bowl. Bingata Bowl, home of the saw teeth. Yeah. <clears throat> Just some right. ramen between innings. I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> Not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big bowl of Bingata. <laughs> Oh, it is like that. Yeah, Not. I kind of like the big ball. Going for the uh, saw teeth Bronco in right field, Forrest in left, Ranero at shortstop, Kingman playing first, Trips in center field, Nutmeg at third, Turner at second base, flexed catching, and Raul strikes pitching. So as the saw teeth take the field, Gina Torrens, Billy LeBlanc, and Buster Biggs will get ready to face off against Strikes, who has a 7.2 ERA so I far this season. Saw a lot of tennis nice. players on the on the list there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of tense players, um, which is weird because they're Gina winning. Torrance. So Gina Torrance tense, but fit hitting 133. Actually had a pretty good game in the the last game against the. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Wow. Allen's popped up in the shallow center field. The uh, second baseman's out to get it. Turner makes the catch for the first out. One down. Swinging a bad pitcher, a little bit high. Billy the Boy committed 273 on the season. No home runs, two RBIs. These two dome teams know. Weather's not a factor when playing in San Jose or in Phoenix. First one misses high and inside, ball one. That one's in there for a strike, breaking ball, pitch, one apiece. Wow. <clears throat> Early swing, hands on a souvenir on the first ba third baseline. One and two, now it's two and two with that missed pitch. That one's inside corner, a little bit of late swing, pushes that foul, first baseline. Good eye, inside, misses ball three, three and two, full count. Way outside, and Billy LeBoink's going to walk his way to first base. All right, so we got a base runner, Buster Biggs, the left fielder's neutral and fit in 296, two home runs and three RBIs. Biggs playing left field for the B Wolves. Billy LeBoink over at first base. First pitch to Biggs is in there for called strike. That one's low ball one. One and one now. LeBoink does not have a lot of speed, not a threat to steal. That one's outside, ball two. Two balls and one strike with one out to the uh, Buster Big. There's a smash that's going into center field and that's mm. gonna be caught. Unfortunately, the boink was at second base. <laughs> Looked like that might have dropped, but uh, <clears throat> not so much. Sturdy Woodland stepping in. Oh man, 263, one home run. Thought that one was out to the wall. Sturdy takes the first one there for a strike. Oh, on the count, two outs, pressure up here. In San Jose, that one's a little bit low. Ball one, right? We even want a piece. Got the drone out there catching the cameras. There is another strike. One and two. Raul strikes his 17th pitch. Outside corner hits a grounder to Kingman, who takes two steps and ends the side. Yep. Okay. So no runs, no hits, and no errors in the B-Wolf half of the first. We're going into the bottom of the first. The Lester Bronco, Ramus Forrest, and Joe Renero going to face Levon, who's got an ERA of 4.15. Lester Bronco, the right fielder, is locked in and fit in 346, four home runs, seven RBIs. This guy's dangerous. <laughs> Number 29 coming right at him, though. Gets the signal for Peck, winds up, throws the first pitch for the B Wolves. It's a breaking pitch in their first strike. I want to count to Gennaro standing left hand batter's box on the first base side. It's a oh. hard liner in the left field. That's going to land in for multiple bases. Oh, Buster Biggs misses it, throws to the cutoff. He's going to come around to second base. For us, for a walk-off double <clears throat> on the first or the second pitch of the game, and here comes Ramus Forrest, okay. number 56. Like they said, a good power hitter. He's got a fast runner at second base and no outs. Bottom of the first, still no score. Buell's got to get out of this. Deshaun Levon's got to be cool. Goes the first one there for a strike. We've been here before. Let's see what happens next. It's the pop-up. Sturdy Woodman's waving him off just off of first base. Runner over to second is just going to give an easy toss. Keep him close. One down. Two more to go. John Ronero comes up hitting 192. Be nice to see Deshaun Levon sit him down with a strike up. The fans are letting him hear it. It's loud in this dome. 
Check swing. That one misses just outside. Ball one. One of the count. Second pitch is oh hit right deep to right field. Going back. Billy LeBoink up to catch it. The runner's going to go on over to third base. <laughs> and uh, is 90 feet from scoring. And up comes Kobe King with a locked in power hitter. That means the outfield's going to go deep. But Deshaun Levon just needs to get around one more batter. Check swing at that one inside. 1-0 one count. Hard foul back off the wall. Crowd, crowd like that one. We're even at one apiece. Got to be careful with Kobe King. Is it 2-2-2 two, two, two with two home runs? Ooh, nice changeup. Swings early. 1-2. and two. He's got him in a hole. Fouls that one back hard off the wall. Still 1-2. and two. Some of the fans leaning forward. They want to see something happen. Right past the hands. Misses. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Bottom of first. Hard hit. Bertha back. That's going to be a run. Kobe Kingman does what he never did for the Beebles, and that's get an RBI. Yep. Uh, that's already a, a one nothing saw teeth in the first inning. Slash trips come to Sean LeVon. 13th pitch, fouls it back off the net, which makes a metallic sound somehow. That one's in there for a strike. 0-2. Can he put him away? Nope. Pops that up in the left field. Buster Biggs is waving him off. That's going to be an easy catch. And we're done with the first out, or the first inning. <laughs> All right, so the Saw Teeth pick up one run on two hits, making it one nothing Saw Teeth as we head into the top of the second. Freddie Knox, Magic Moore, and Bertha Banks going to face Raul Strikes, who threw 17 pitches in the first inning, gave up a walk. The ERA is at 6.0. Freddie Knox is neutral and fit, hitting 348 on the season with no home runs and no RBI. Mm -hmm. Freddie Knox playing second base for the B Wolves. First pitch in there for called Strike. Strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One and one now to Freddie Knox. That's popped up into right field. Right fielder's under it. Bronco makes the catch for the first out. One down. And Boy, then steps Magic Moore. We need to see some, some, just get some hits here. Magic Moore sitting a lowly, 136. With one, ooh, that way to back out. That one came inside, ball one. That one's inside, but it makes it into the zone. We're even at one apiece. That one's outside, misses two and one. This one's going to be a strike. Oh, uh, pops that one up. Easy. That's going to be Kobe King who's going to get that just east of the foul line. Two up, two down. And Bertha Banks, the third baseman, steps in. She's neutral and fit, hitting 261 with a home run, two RBIs. Two outs, bases empty in the top of the second. Saw Teeth winning, leading one to nothing. First pitch to Banks is in there for a called strike. That one's low. Ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. That one's fouled off. One and two now to Bertha Banks. That's outside. Evens the count up at two and two. That one's low. Three and two. Full count to Bertha Banks. That's way inside. Bertha Banks is going to take a trip to first base. She'll reach on a base on balls. Eliza Peck steps in. It's the only way we can get him there, Pete. <laughs> Eliza Peck coming in 143. With an RBI. Steps out of the box. Gets herself... Together, watches the first pitch low for a ball. 1-0 the count. Two outs, top of the second. one nothing. saw teeth. Liza Peck's looking for the right call. Has some confusion with the third base batting coach. There she gets a good swing at one. Fouls it back. 2-1. and one. She's in a good position. She's trying to break the rhythm here for our old strikes. He's got 33 pitches here in the second inning. So we got a good pace against this saw teeth pitcher. We just got to get on base. That one misses low. 3-1. That one also, two two back-to-back -back walks, Pete, and she takes first. Yes, sir, and steps to Sean LeVon, the starting pitcher. He's neutral if it hitting 667 on the season. Runners hit first and second uh, with two outs. First pitch to Deshaun LeVon is gone deep. It's over everybody's head. Everybody's oh. running. Yes. And Deshaun LeVon pulls into second with a double and two <laughs> runs score. And we will have taken a lead, Tommy, two to one. The unlikely hero. I, they did not expect that. It's it a little bit quiet here in the big out. The Beagles take the first lead they've had in games, beat. and that's a hard hit, deep to center field. That's going to be caught though by slash trips on that side. But good swing though, Gina Torrance. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> So uh, the B-Wolves pick up two runs on one hit, making it B-Wolves two, Saw Teeth one. Kara Nutmeg, DP Turner, and Pext Flex going to face off against Levon, who threw 15 pitches 
and gave up two hits in the first inning. Gary Nutmeg, the third baseman's neutral, and Fitch, she's known as an RBI dud and a whiffer, but she's hitting 300 this, this season so far, Tommy. Something like that. First pitch from Lavon's in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick that up, make the throw to... <gasps> oh, and Woodman drops the ball. He oh. drops the ball. Oh, no. <laughs> An easy oh. out. And Sturdy Woodman commits the error. I don't know what happened there, Dom, but uh, oh. D.P. Turner steps in. No outs runner at second base thanks to an error by uh, Sturdy Woodman. First pitch by uh, Deshaun Levon is in it for called strike. Strike one. That's fouled straight back. And now Turner is in the hole. No balls, two strikes with no outs. D.P. Turner hitting 105 on the season. That's a foul ball. Swinging bunt. Hmm. Allen's outside. One ball, two strikes with no outs. Runner at second base. D.P. Turner, the second baseman, facing off against Levon. There's a roller. Oh, and Levon did not pick it up, but Gina Torrance did, and she was able to make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the first out, but the runner was able to get the third. So, Pex Flex, tense but well. Known as a stealer, he's hitting .083 on the season with an RBI. Runner at third base with one out. Deshaun Levon steps off the rubber, throws over to third, but the runner is back. Unfortunately, being a lefty, that one's a little ball one. Levon almost has to do a complete pirouette to make the throw to third base. <laughs> That's popped up behind home plate. Eliza Peck is out. She's under it, and she makes the catch. So two outs now with a runner at third base. The B-Wolves may be able to hold this up. Raul strikes the pitcher. He's hitting 500 on the season. No home runs, no RBIs. He's tense, but fit with two outs. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. Runner at third base. That's in it for a called strike. And now strikes. Finds himself in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. That's in there for a called third and... Deshaun Levon <laughs> saves the day. We're going to go into the top of the third. It's the uh, B-Wolves two runs on one hit with an error and the Sawteeth one run on two hits. Billy LeBoink, Buster Biggs, and Sturdy Woodman get a second look at Raul Strikes, who's thrown 37 pitches with three walks and given up one hit. Billy LeBoink favors the high pitch. He walked his first time up. First pitch from Strikes. Oh, and he hits it hard, but right to D.P. Turner, the second baseman, is going to pick it up, make the throw to Kobe Kingman for the first out. One down. Uh, well, one down on one pitch. Uh, it was right where he wanted it, though. Buster Biggs over one of the night, a little bit tense, but he's facing a tense pitcher in Raul Strikes. Oh. oh, he swings early at one, and oh, luckily that lands foul just in front of the Beagles' dugout. Oh, on the count. That one way up high, floater. This is one apiece. That was right in there, and it's hit hard to right center field, but it's not going to be fair. Oh, just over the wall. Oh, we got lucky there, Pete. One and two. Wow, that one got away. Way up high. Well, strikes a wild pitch. It's 43rd pitch coming in right here. Nope. That one's Dang. right in there for the K. Dang. He brought it back. He brought yeah. it back. Sturdy Woodman, first baseman, tense, but fit. He's 0 for 1. Today hitting 250, committed an error there in the second inning. Oh, and he hits on. a roller to the shortstop, Jay Ranero. He's going to pick it up, make the throw to Kobe Kingman for the third out. So 1 2 3 in the top of the third. We're heading into the bottom of the third. Lester Bronco, 1 for 1 with a double. Ramius Forrest, 0 for 1. John Ranero, 0 for 1. Deshaun Levana, 27 pitcher with a strikeout, giving up two hits. We got Clay down to one. keep him off the board. Yes. Yes, sir. Les Bronco locked in one for one with a double, hitting 370 with four home runs, seven RBIs. They got to be careful. And come, misses up near the hands. One on the count to Bronco. A wild steed. Check swing. Evans makes outside corner. We're even at one apiece. Bottom of third, 2 1. Good guys. B Wolves here in San Jose, California. Wind up the toss. Foul back off the net. Deshaun Levon looking good. Number 29 going to put him away. Hard oh, hitting the on. right. Buster Biggs, oh, All gets right. it, gets it at the shoelaces. I thought he missed it, oh. Buster Biggs caught that one just before it hit the ground. That brings in Ramis Forrest. Oh, he's got no batting average, a crowd on their feet. They're going bananas here for the Sharks. Hard hit the right center field, that's gonna be multiple bases. 
And Magic Board goes back. He's going to throw it in as a cutoff. He's going to get a stand-up double. And uh, the fans have something to cheer about again. And there goes the, the double play option. John Ronell now 0 for 1. Power hitter. The outfield is going to go deep. It's a sticky situation here. It's a breaking pitch foul off the wall. 0 on the count. A tense batter swinging him at strike two. And this is where the bad things happen for the Beebles. Pete with two strikes. There's a hollered foul off the wall. Over two to count. Maybe throw him a bad pitch he could chase. Foul. Over two still. 37th pitch by Deshaun Levon. Check swing just near the hands. It was a good pitch. Almost had him going for it. Oh, that one misses just low and away. We're even at two apiece. There's a hard hit to Bertha Banks. She looks at first, but or looks at second to keep the runner from going. Throws to first, gets the out. That was a good way to keep him at second. <clears throat> Kobe Kingman's one for one, the single on RBI. The, he's locked in, and the outfield's going to go deep. <clears throat> Again, these B Wolf pitchers just cannot buy a strikeout. Just yeah. can't, can't get anything past yeah. anybody. Got to get Kobe to fan. 41st pitch, that's going to be Gina Torres going to pick it up. Throw to first. Just gets him in time. Again, yeah, saw teeth there racking up the hits, just not getting anybody around. Um, two to one, B Wolves, as we head in the top of the fourth. Freddie Knox, 0 for 1. Magic Moore, 0 for 1. Bertha Banks with a walk. Raul strikes at 44 pitches with a strikeout. And three walks. And only one hit. Freddie Knox tense, but Fiddy's 0 for 1 today. Smart hit selection. B Wolves need to be smart. Put some pitches. 45th pitch makes it in their first strike. And it's good to watch it, though. 0 1 count to Freddie Knox. That one misses the inside corner, even to one apiece. Oh, strike closing in on 50 pitches. That one makes it in for a strike. We're at one and two. Top of the fourth, two on Beals. Oh, breaks a bat on a foul ball for the baseline. Gets a new piece of wood. Oh, swings early. It's a second K for strikes. Magic Boy, the center fielder, is neutral and fit. He's got good connection versus left handed pitching. It doesn't help him right now. He's 0 for 1 today, though, hitting 130. With a home run and one RBI, that one's low ball one. There's a shot that's getting into left field. Unfortunately, Aramius Force is going to be able to track that one down for the second out. Two down now, and Bertha Banks stepping in. Boy, even when they hit the ball well, you know, they hit it right to somebody. Yeah. Bertha Banks, 261 with a home run, two RBIs. Gets her signal from the third base coach. There's the toss. Inside corner misses ball one. Bertha's good for watching those bad ones. Swings at a good one, pops that up. It's baseline souvenir. Fan here in California. Gets a roller past the mound into the gap in center field. That's going to be a nice clean single. Trips comes up to keep her going from second. And Bertha Banks gets one of those elusive runs, beat, or not runs, but a hit. Eliza, Eliza Peck, the catcher, steps in. She's uh, 0 for 1 with a. Oh, well, she's uh, she walked her first time up, so that doesn't count as a plate appearance. That first pitch is in there for called strike, strike one. That one's low, ball one. One and one now to Eliza Peck. Bertha Banks at first place with two outs. That one's high. And a strike to Eliza Peck. That one's way inside, and Bertha Banks is taking off for second. She's going to be in there yes. on a pass ball. <laughs> so three balls, one strike with two outs to Eliza Peck. She takes that pitch for a called strike. Full count now, three and two. Oh, oh it catches the up. High outside corner for the call, third strike. Now we're heading to the bottom of the fourth. B Wolves holding on to a one run lead, two to one. Slash trips 0 for 1. Kira Dutmeg 0 for 1. DP Turner 0 for 1. Levon at 41 pitches with a strikeout, giving up three hits. Slash trips is tense but fit. He's 0 for 1 today, hitting 179 though on the season. Slash trips plays center field for the Saudi. Takes the first pitch for a called strike, strike one. Sean Lodge delivers that. It's a roller to Bertha Banks. She's going to pick it up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the first out. One down in the bottom of the fourth. Kieran Nutmeg, the third baseman, steps in. She's an RBI dud and a whiffer. She's 0 for 1 today. The Sean Levon at 43 pitches, about to make his 44th. Low ball one. One ball, no strikes to Kieran Nutmeg. Allen's low as well. 2 and 0 now. To the saw teeth third baseman. Bases are empty. Now it's in there for a call. Strike two and one. 
Bottom of the fourth, B Wolves leading two to one. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's gonna pick it up, take it himself. Step on first for the second out. Two down now. And DP Turner, the second baseman, steps in. He's neutral but fit. 0 for one today, hitting one hundred. <laughs> two outs. There's a roller that's gonna get to Torrance, who's gonna pick it up and try to make the throw. And she yes. just gets him. All <laughs> right. Gina, way to go from deep in the hole. She showed some arms she doesn't typically have. Going into the fifth, it's still 2-1. to one. b Wolves, Deshaun Levine, 1-for-1 one one with a double. Gina Torrance, 0-for-2. Oh and Billy LeBoyne, 0-for-1 oh with a walk. Raul strikes at 60 pitches with three strikeouts. Deshaun Levine's locked in and fit, hitting 1-for-1 one one with a double and two RBIs. A 7.50 average, man of the hour. The only man doing anything today for the b Wolves, except for Bertha Banks. She's the other not man doing things. First one misses, ball one, top of the fifth inning. Oh. Ooh, swing and a miss on what he really wanted that, or even at one apiece. It's a low one out to Ranero, a shortstop pump, throw to first, one down. One down, Gina Torrance is tense, but fit 0 for 2 today, hitting 118 on the season. Had a great defensive play in, that, in the last half of the half inning. Takes the first pitch for a cold strike, strike one. Allen's high ball one. One and one now to Gina Torrance. There's a smash that's going into center field. This is Gina's problem. She's hitting the ball hard. It's just in the air to center field where it's easily caught. <laughs> yep. Dog gone, man. And we got two outs. We're looking at going one, two, three here. Here comes Billy LeBoink. Takes the first one there for strike. One of the kind of 68th pitch. From misses inside corner ball. We're even one piece to Billy LeBoink. Oh, reaches out, no, hits a grounder, no. to nutmeg at third, pump the first, one, two, three. Wow. Yeah. All right, still going into the bottom of the fifth, it's still two to one. Uh, Pex flexed, 0 for one. Raul strikes, 0 for one with a strikeout. Lester Bronco, one for two with a double. Levon at 48 pitches with a strikeout and giving up three hits as ERA's dropped to 3.55. Well, that's good at least. Pex flexed is rattled, 0 for one. He's a stealer if he gets on, but uh, and the Deshaun Levon's locked in. First pitch misses for a ball. Pitch number 50 gets a signal from Peck. Winds up, throws it. It's a little grounder to Bertha Banks. who's going to pick it off the ground. One pump, throw to first. One down. Good defense. So, I mean, the Beavles are playing good defense, Pete. Yeah, yeah. Sean Levin, I don't think that Sean Levin's got a K yet today, does he? Uh, I don't. Yeah, he's got one. Roll strikes is 0 for 1, 333 on the season. That one misses out, makes the outside corner. 0 and 1 the count to strikes. There's a hard hit to right center field. It's going back, and oh, Magic Moore dives but cannot get it. They're going to have to throw it to the cutoff. He's rounding for third. No, he's coming back to second, and it's a double by the pitcher. And the only thing the Sawtooth hits are doubles. Yeah, the only yeah. Right. What's that about? Lester Bronco now one for two with a double locked in at 357. One out. There goes the double play option again. It's a quarter strike one, 0 1. But LaShawn LeVon's been here a few times today and has gotten out of it. 0 and 2, but this is where the problems happen. Hard hit to right to left field. Oh my gosh. Buster Biggs grabs it on the run, throws it in, and keeps him from getting another double, which that would have been. And that brings in Raymer Ramos Force. One for two with a double. <laughs> but the Beagles just need one now. The pressure up, the fans getting into it. Oh, he's supposed to jump. Magic Moore is throwing home to keep him. He's not going to go home. It gets a single. And you got runners at the corners. John Ranero up now. 0 for 2. Oh, man. The outfield's going to go deep for Ranero. It's a tough situation. Two outs. He just needs one more, Pete. 57th pitch. Nice breaking pitch. Makes a low section. 0-1. What's he going to throw? High and inside. Ooh, check. He wanted it. Check swing, but that's a ball. One apiece. That one's a little bit low, and now we're two and one to John Ranero, who's not not swinging at junk. He's got a fast runner at first base. That one makes it in there for a strike. Right, two, two, and two. Ooh, fouls that one off the wall. We didn't see the runner go. Still not at a two apiece. The fans leaning forward, swinging a miss, strike three. Way to finish it. Ranero smashes the bat in disgust. <laughs> All right, so we're heading into the sixth. B Wolves, two runs on two hits with an error. Sawtooth, one run on five hits, no errors. Buster Briggs, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Sturdy Woodman, 0 for 2. And Freddie Knox, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Raul strikes at 69 pitches with three strikeouts, three walks, giving up two hits. Buster Biggs, Buster Biggs tense, but fit. 0 for 2 today, hitting 276. 
two home runs, three RBIs this season. Takes the first pitch inside, ball one. That's in there for called strike. One and one now to Buster Biggs. Allen's high ball two, two and one. Allen's popped up into center field. Center fielder's calling for it. Trips makes the kicks for the first out. One down and in steps Sturdy Wood. It's like Groundhog Day. It's the same thing over to 0 for yep. 2. 238, the tense Sturdy Woodman's got to get back there. Now, now strikes is locked in. He started the game tense, he's locked in. 75th pitch. Oh, After Pete. After a ball, he gets a grounder right to Kingman, the easiest play in the game. <laughs> two down, one up. Or two up, two down. Freddie Knox, the second baseman, tense but fit. 0 for 2 today, hitting 320. Yeah, and Raul strikes is locked in. That's ridiculous. Yeah. There's a smash. Freddie Knox gone deep. It's not going to get over the wall, but he's coming around, pulling into second for a double, a two-out double in the top of the sixth. And Freddie Knox making things happen. Come on, Magic. Let's let's get him around here now. Yeah, Magic hits an out, uh, outfield single, and Freddie Knox is home. He's fast. First pitch is way high and inside, ball one. One of the count, the pressure up again here. Beagles can score again. Same spot, misses 2-0. and Moore takes a step out, gathers things up, slows it down a bit. Inside again, 3-0. and Do not swing, Magic Moore. Do not swing. 80th pitch by Raul strikes. He's not going to get three straight strikes here. There's one. Lower corner, 3-1 and one the count. High and inside, strike two. He can't get three strikes in a row, can he? Oh, he had to swing defensively. It's a grounder to Turner. Throws to first and ends the side. Dog gone. It was. It was three strikes. It would have been a called strike if I didn't swing it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, um, two to one going in the bottom of the six. Kobe Kingman, one for two. Slash trips, 0 for two. Kira Nutmeg, 0 for two. Levon at 62 pitches with two strikeouts and five hits. Kobe, Kobe Kingman is locked in and fit. He's one for two with a single and an RBI. He's hitting 250 on the season with two home runs. Seven RBIs. Big sneeze by Levon. Kobe Kingman, the Sawtooth first baseman, takes the first pitch for a cold strike. Strike one. Kobe Kingman came over after uh, some time with the B Wolves, swing and a miss, and he's in the hole now. No balls, two strikes. Allen's a low ball one. One and two now to Kobe Kingman. Levon delivering a 66th pitch, swing and a miss. Kobe Kingman goes down on strikes. That's K number three at least. Slash trips is tense but fit. He's 0 for two today, hitting 172. Levon locked in and fit. First pitch is outside, ball one. There's a roller to Gina Torrin. She's going to come in, pick it up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman, and get slash trip. So two quick outs, and Kira Nutmeg steps in. She's neutral and fit 0 for 2 today. Nutmeg playing third base for the Sawtooth. Two outs in the bottom of the six. Buell's holding on to a one-run lead. Deshaun Levant puts that right in for a called strike. Strike one. That one's a little high. One and one now to Kira Nutmeg. And she anticipated that pitch and put it into center field for a clean single. Magic Moore gets it in quickly to Gina Torrens at second base to make sure Nutmeg stays at first. D.P. Turner, the second baseman's 0 for 2 today, hitting .095. Nutmeg with about average speed at first base. There's a roller, and that's going to be Gina Torrens. She's going to pick it up, make the throw, and yes. get <coughs> D.P. Turner by a step. All right, Gina. <laughs> Whew, we've had some problems at second base, uh, at shortstop, and she stepped up today. Going to the top of the seventh, it's B Wolves, two runs on three hits with an error. Sawteeth, one run on six hits. Bertha Banks, one for one with a walk. Eliza Peck, and somebody else. Bertha Banks, the third baseman's neutral and fit, one for one with a single hit, and 292 with a home run and two RBIs. Come on, Bertha, let's get something going here. There's a shot that's going right up the middle in the center field for a clean single, and Bertha Banks has led off with a single. All right, Beebles, let's turn this let's, into something. Yes, sir. We need some. Uh, we need a couple more runs here. We got that runner for no outs. Oh, and that's going to be it for Raul Strikes. They're going to give him the hook. Uh, he's going to grab the towel. <clears throat> They're going to bring in Doc Simpleman, the relief pitcher. He's got, <clears throat> excuse me, no ERA, a 0.60 whip, and five Ks. He's locked in. Uh, he's 
a little better than average in velocity, junk, and accuracy. He's mostly well rested. It looks like he's pitching the last three games. He's known as a K-man. He throws the four-finger, the two-finger, and he mixes it up with the slider, Pete. Yes, sir. So we'll see what he does here. His first pitch is that slider. Misses inside ball one. It really has movement on it, doesn't it? <clears throat> that one he goes to the outside corner. Misses two in a row. Two and oh. Maybe there it is right over the middle. <clears throat> Starts off outside. Comes in two and one. Pressure up. Oh, that one comes across going up. He's got two quickly, and he's known as the K-Man. To a piece. Hard liner out left field. That's going to land in there, Pete. It's two quick singles by the Beagles. Wow, no outs. Winners at first and second. Yes, sir. And in steps to Sean Levon, the starting pitcher. He's locked in and fit. One for two with a double and an RBI. Hitting 600 on the season. The pressure is up now for Simpleman. That one's high. Ball one. Runners at first and second with no outs. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Levon had that one. One ball, one strike. That one's oh, no. popped up into ready to run to third. Rocket field. And they're tagging up as Bertha Banks is heading for third base, and she's going to make it there. Yes. So runners now at first and third with one out, and in steps Gina Torres. Sack fly to right field. The pressure way up now. 0 for 3. There's only two out, one out. And a runner at third base. First one's in it for strike. Well, on the count to the tenth, Gina Torres. Oh, so late no, no, swing no, no, strike no. two. He's quickly got her in a no. hole. Is he going to put her away? Hard hit the right field. That's going deep. Pete, that's back. That's out of here. Oh, she does not want to leave, Pete. She does not. <laughs> Gina Torrance gets a two run home run over the right field wall. 360 feet wall. Oh, it's her first home run of third RBI this season. It's a three run home run? Yeah. Runners at first and third with uh, one out. Oh, man. Billy LeBoyne, the right fielder, steps in. He's neutral and fit, favors the high pitch. He's 0 for 2 with a walk today. Score is now 5 to 1. Ooh. And a miss. Strike what? Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike 2. Simple, intense, but fit. Yeah. Throwing his 14th pitch here. And that's just the middle into center field for a clean single. And Billy LeBoyne's going to keep things rolling here. You're not striking out Billy LeBoyne, Pete. Not after no, this. Sir. The people, I feel it. Finally, the offense coming back out. The volcano's exploding. And up comes <laughs> the 10 Buster Biggs, who's 0 for 3. The slow runner at first base. But only one out here at the top of the 7th. 5 1 Beagles. He pulls that one back. It's a good thing. 1 0 the count. This is outside. That one. Ooh, he gets that breaking pitch outside. Still two balls. That one's a low one down the line, Pete. That's going to be multiple bases coming around. Is oh, Billy LeBoink. He just finally gets it off the wall. Uh oh, Billy's going to have to come back. He can't. He can't come back. I. The coach was calling him back and he wasn't coming, Pete. The coach was calling yes, him back. Yes, sir. Sturdy Woodman, Ted Smith, fit 0 for 3 today. There goes Doc Simpleman. A short appearance by Simpleman. We're going to be bringing in Jose Josiah McConnell. Kind of a starting slash relief pitcher hitting uh, pitch uh, with a 3.38 ERA, a 1.5 whip, one strikeout. He's neutral and fit. He's got less than average velocity, about average junk. He's got very good accuracy. He's fully rested. He's got a two uh, four seam fastball, a two seam fastball, and a slider. Basically, throws the same amount of pitches as Doc Simpleman. And uh, two outs now. Runner at second base and in steps Sturdy Woodman. Woodman takes the first pitch low, ball one. There's a so <laughs> just got around on that a little bit quick. One ball, one strike with two outs. That one's low. Now two, two and one. There's a shot to the third base from Kieran Nutmeg. She'll pick it up, make the throw to first to retire the side. But the B Wolves hang three on the saw teeth in the seventh, making it five to one. As we head into the bottom of the seventh, Pex flexed 0 for 2 Josiah McConnell first at bat. Lester Bronco. Double of on it. 72 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up six hits. Pex flex. The catcher is rattled and well. It's 0 for to do today, hitting 0.77. Oh. Yeah, he's known as the Steeler. Swing and a miss at that slider and outside corner, strike one. Sean Levon looking good, even late game here. Bottom of the seventh. That one right in for strike two. 0 oh, two. He goes, he goes at him fast, but then what does he do? He throws oh, him a strike. God. Oh, that wasn't even in the strike zone. Really? <laughs> it jumped it out, yeah. Oh, it looked like it was right down the middle. Um, no, it was uh, off the uh, low inside corner. Uh-oh. Josiah McConnell up and going down. They're going to pull him, and they're going to bring in Hanzo Magico. The, uh, he's going to be pinch hit for him. The tense Hanzo. Not a good power hitter, not a good contact hitter. 
He's got okay speed and he's tense, but he's known as a stealer. So we're going to see what they were thinking here. 75 pitches under Deshaun Lavalette's bat. Here comes 76. Swing and a miss, strike one. To Majiko, or one of the cow. Slow runner at first base, hoping for that double play. He anticipated, but didn't swing. Misses outside. One and two, one and one account. Inside corner, one and two, strike. One more to go. Can he get the double play? Gets a piece, pops that up to center field. Mad Magic Moore is waving it off. Runs up a few steps. He's going to pull that in. Throw it to second base to hold him up. We got one out. And, and a, yeah, a, uh, a double play would be great here, but Lester Bronco comes up locked in. One for three, the double. He could he could make things bad if he takes one out. He's locked in. Maybe the outfield should go deeper. They haven't done it yet. Goes to first base. Not in time, but a good idea. Outfield's going to wade back toward the walls for Bronco. That one comes high and inside. Strike one. We're going to come start things off here for Sean LeBron. Still looking good. Swinging him at strike two. Great pitch. Can they drop him? He does! Inside corner! Two down! Oh, and Bronco doesn't like it, but Deshaun LeVon looking good feet. Ramus Forrest, two for three with a double and a single. Generally a power hitter. One more out. They need the fans on their feet. That breaking pitch misses low. One no, the count to Forrest. Check swing, but it's in there for a strike. And we're knotted up at one apiece. Two outs. Pop up in the into shallow right field. Freddie knocks back, misses it. Unbelievable. It lands right in front of him. Right in front of him. And now the runner's at, at the corners with a fast runner at first base. We just need one more out there. The tense John Ronero is only at 172. Misses inside. Alfie's is going to go back anyway because he is a power hitter. Goes to first base. Cannot get the pick up. That would have been good. The crowd didn't like it, but I did. <laughs> Well, one and all the count. Deshaun Levine can get out of this. He has before. He misses on that one, though. We're 2 0. Oh. Now he's got to throw to him. Swing and a miss. Strike one. With two and one the count. And now he's going to get him back on his heels. Two and two. Right at two, two, two. One more to go. Hits a hard one to Bertha Banks, who dives over, throws to first, gets him. <laughs> all right. Okay, so Hancho, Hanso Machikiko coming out. He's going to be replaced by Brick Towers, the relief pitcher. Towers comes in with a 1.38 whip, three strikeouts. He's neutral and fit about average velocity. Very good junk. Less than average accuracy. He's almost fully rusty. He's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So as we head into the top of the eighth, B. Wolves five runs on eight hits with an error. Sawteeth, one run on eight hits. Freddie Knox, one for three with a double and a strikeout. Magic Moore, 0 for three. Bertha Banks, two for two with a walk. Brick Towers with a 2.08 ERA. Freddie Knox, the second baseman's neutral and fit. He hit one for three with a double. Brought that uh, that uh, batting average up to 346. He did. First pitch is ready for a strike. Oh, one got the Knox. He's getting the pitch count up. No, Gets nope, a Texas nope. leader to left drop, field. Drop, is that going to drop? drop? Nope. It does in the glove of Ravis Forrest. It's going to hang up there First. forever. That yeah. thing just it was like it was anti-gravity. <laughs> yeah. Magic Moore steps in. One out, base is empty. There's a swing. Fouled off straight back. No balls, one strike with one out. Oh. That one's popped up. That's going to oh. drop in front of center fielder. Oh, oh a sliding. <laughs> a sliding grab by Slash Trips in center field. Oh. So two outs now with nobody on and Bertha Banks stepping in. Two for two with Walk and a single. She made that great cat, that great out in the last, ten to last side. First one's in for a strike with the Banks. Second one misses for ball. Even at one apiece. Crowd thought that was a strike. <laughs> That oh. was in there, but that's an easy pop-up. Got a couple minutes to get out of it. Center field waving it off. Trips pills it Again. off. Not. For some reason, when I hit the ball, it seems to be <laughs> anti-gravity. It <laughs> seems to hang there forever. Okay, we're going into the bottom of the eighth. B-Wolves 5, Saw Teeth 1. Kobe Kingman 1 for 3 with a strikeout. Trips 0 for 3. And Kira Nutmeg 1 for 3. Levon at 90 pitches with 4 strikeouts, giving up 8 hits. Oh, Kobe oh, Kingman is locked in and fit. He's 1 for 3 with a single and an RBI. I think it Basement at Saw Teeth. Yeah. What? I was thinking of giving him a rest, but. Uh -oh. There's a shot. Oh, and that's going to go. They get him. And they get him. Wow. They get him. What a play. <laughs> that was a crazy play, folks. Uh, Sturdy Woodman <laughs> dove to try and corral the ball, but it bounced off his mitt. Freddie Knox picked it up, made the throw to Deshaun Levon to still get Kobe Kingman at first base. What a play. Aha. <laughs> what a 
Flash trips, anticipated that pitch, but it was outside, so he let it go. Ball one. That's in it for cold strike. One ball, one strike with one out. What an amazing play. That's in there for called second strike. And now Trips is behind in the count. One ball, two strikes. Now it's low. The count evens up two and two, so that's popped up into center field. Magic Moore is there, camped out underneath it, and Trips is out. For a pop fly in center field, two down now. And Kira Nutmeg, the third baseman, step neutral and fit. One for three with a single. She's hitting 304 on the season. Two down in the bottom of the eighth. First pitch to Nutmeg is in there for called strike. Strike one. Levon at 97, make it 98 pitches. That one's high, ball one. One ball, one strike with two outs. B Wolves five, saw teeth one. Check swing called strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Nutmeg known as a whiffer around the league. And she hits that one, but right to Freddie Knox, who's going to pick it up. Make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the third out. One, two, three. We're heading into the top of the ninth. B Wolves holding on to a five to one lead. Eliza Peck, one for two with a double, uh, with a walk and a strikeout to Shalabon, one for three with a double. And Gita and Vic Powers threw seven pitches in this brief appearance in the eighth inning. Eliza Peck, neutral and fit, one for two with a single and a walk. Her, her average is up to 188. First pitch to Peck is high, ball one. That's fouled off straight back. One and one now to Peck. There's a roller foul along the first baseline. One ball, two strikes to Eliza Peck, the B-Wolf catcher. That's popped up. That's going to land in front of Slash Trips in center field for a clean single. And Eliza Peck standing at first base <laughs> yeah. in the top of the ninth with nobody out. Question is, can Deshaun Levon get the called game? Can you go the full nine? They're going to lead me. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think? He's I'm locked go. in. Gonna... He, he's locked in. I know in. he is. And he, but he's at 98 pitches. Uh, no, he's at 100. He's at actually at 100 pitches right now. Uh, you might want to leave him in just offensively. Even. No, I think I'm going to. Mm. I'm going to go. We'll give, we'll give York an opportunity, a save opportunity. Is he York? Okay. Actually, she won't, she won't even get the save because... It's not. In, it's not unless it's goods in jeopardy. So okay, Henry Dexter's is hurt. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Now batting, Steve <laughs> there he is. Monstor. Okay, so oh, they give a good pat on the back to Deshaun Levon, who played great tonight. Great, great yeah. game. Uh, he's gonna get. Uh, he's gonna get a, a pinch hitter, Steve Monstor, the catcher. He's got good power um, against right-handers, so he's going up against a right-hander. He's uh, no mostly for his power. He's got good contact and speed. So let's see if Steve. Can help contribute some more of this offense that people have been seeing today, Pete. First pitch is a little high. Ball one. Good eye, Magic. Or, uh, Steve Monster. Second one's in the same spot. Two quick misses. 2 and 0. Oh. Pressure up. That one's right in there. He hits it hard to deep center field. It's going back. It's to the wall. It's past the wall. Out of here, Pete. Into the center gap. Steve Monster does the best thing you could do for a pinch hit. He hits a home run over center field wall, 456 feet. It's his first home run and third RBI of the season. And man, beat the B Wolves are getting that offense that's been Gina missing for so long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gina Torrance, the second baseman, stepping in. She's, I don't know what she is, but she, I think she hit a home run today, too. First pitch is high, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's in it for called strike. One and one. That's <laughs> popped up in the center field. Slash Trips is calling everybody off. Looks like she's going to. And Trips makes the catch for the first out. One down and Billy LeBoink stepping in. William LeBoink, one for three. The single and a walk, 280 on the season. The crowd on their feet. But there's a mix of uh, Sawteeth and b -Wolves fans here. Really deep. That beautiful breaking pitch goes outside and misses. One over the count. That one misses low. 2-1. Good patience by Billy LeBoink. He's looking for the high pitch. Oh. He gets out ahead of that one. Swing and a miss. Strike one, two and one. That one's off the plate. Three and one. He could just walk it. But uh -oh. he swings at it, and it pops yep. up. Nice, easy catch for to, uh, center field. Two down. Buster Biggs, tense but fit. One for four with a double, hitting 290 with two home runs, three RBIs. 7 saw teeth one in the top of the ninth. Two outs, base is empty. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike now to Buster Bits. Allen's low ball two. Two and one. 
Inside ball, three. Three balls and one strike. Towers coming to the plate quickly. That's <laughs> popped up. And it looks like Slash trips his numbers getting called again. <laughs> and he makes the catch for the third out. So we're heading into the bottom of the ninth. And we're, uh, we're going to have Macy York coming in. Mm -hmm. Our Macy York is... Yes, the closing pitcher. She's uh, fully rested. She's got a four-seam fastball, a curveball, and a slider. Um, she hasn't pitched in three games. We haven't needed her. She's got yeah. she's neutral and fixed. She's got better than average velocity, good about average junk, better than average uh, accuracy. Um, she's not a very good hitter. So, so as we head into the bottom of the ninth, the B Wolves seven runs on ten hits with an error. Sawteeth one run on eight hits. DP Turner 0 for three. Pex flexed one for three. And Brick Towers first at bat. Macy York coming in with a zero ERA. DP Turner, the second baseman's Turner. neutral and fit. 0 for three, hitting .091. Number 49, only her second appearance thus far this season for the B Wolves. Gets her first one in for a strike. Nice breaking pitch. That was her, her slider, I think. 0-1 oh, the count. Goes on the low side. Still no swing by Turner. 0-2. Oh, is she going to throw him junk? He does. And he has to reach down and fouls it off. 0-2 oh, the count still. High pop-up. And that's going to fade third baseline souvenir. Bottom of the ninth. 7-1 B-Wolves. Dangerous runner. A dangerous hitter at the place, plate though. She's looking for the right pitch from Peck. She gets it. Winds up. Throws it. Hard hit. That's going to be foul, thankfully. Third baseline. Still 0-2. It's having a hard time getting past him. There's a hard hit straight to Gina Torrance. Picks it up off the ground. One pump. Easy throw to first. Gets him for that out. Good defense, B-Wolves, all day long. Yes, sir. And that brings in Pex Flex, who's one for three the single. Hit one line on the season. Intense. Macy York cools a cucumber. No ERA, Pete. Gets the first one right in there for a strike. We paid some money for York. Picked her up when... Uh, when uh, what's his face left? <laughs> I don't remember his name. <laughs> Smack Avery. Smack Avery. Oh, and two. Oh, and she gets the K. Way to get out there and get a K. It's always good for the closer to get one. Three pitch strikeout, and we got one more to go. And it's Brick Towers. Contact him. They're obviously going to pull him out. I believe it. They're going to bring in Kathy Caldesac, the left fielder. Uh, good contact hitter with a fair amount of power and good speed. She's hitting 500 on the season, so she's no easy batter to get around. But York's up to the challenge. She gets her call. She winds up, throws it. Check swing inside corner. Strike one. York spits something out. She's going right for it. Second pitch right in there for a strike, Pete. 0-2. Oh Can she get her chasing a breaking pitch away? <laughs> Two outs. One pitch left. Here goes. Oh, it's popped up in the center field, but Magic Moore is underneath it. He's waving him off. That's going to be the game. The crowd's trying to get him to drop it, but he doesn't. And the B Wolves <laughs> win the first one in a long time, Pete. B Wolves win. They're on the comeback trail. They're two and six. <laughs> We're going to the championship. <laughs> That's right. Book our trips to the championship. We're going all the way. Oh. <clears throat> Look at that. Well, they came out. B Wolves <clears throat> win. You know, it, it looked it looked like most games do. The Sawtooth yeah. come out and they score first, and we're like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But Deshaun Levon, uh, not only pitching well, gets the offense and puts the first two runs on the board with a, with a two-run double. And uh, then it's quiet for a long time, and then the B-Wolves get some home runs. I think it was uh, Gina Torrance, right? Gets a three-run yeah. three bomb in the seventh to put him ahead five, and then we get another home run. Uh, was it Magic Moore? No, it's uh, um, Buster Biggs? catcher. Oh, that's uh, right. Monster. Steve Monstor comes hit. in to pinch hit. It takes one deep to center field, another two-run bomb, and the B-Wolves end up winning at 7-1. Seven, seven runs on ten hits with an error. That was the one that uh, Sturdy Woodman dropped. And to the, to the Sawtooth, eight hits of one run. Yeah, Woodman did not look very good at first base tonight, um, which is kind of strange. But, yeah, um, and to be honest, me and Tommy talked about it earlier. I mean, it seemed like the, all, the only thing the Sawtooth hit were doubles. Yeah. And yet we, they only crossed the plate once, and that was in the first inning. Yeah. Um, so that's a testament to Deshaun Levon. And I would say, go back and watch last season. Watch the games Deshaun Levon pitches. He was the spark plug. He's the one that when the team was dragging, he would come in and have the game that oh. seemed to kick things off. You know? Just, yeah. So I'm thinking we're, we're seeing, I'm hoping that's what we're seeing here as, as you know, the, the B-Wolves win 
uh, their first game in a long time. I think it was since, what, the third game of the season. They haven't won since the third game of the season, and we're into the, uh, what, the eighth eighth game? Yeah. So, it's a He's, long drought. Deshaun Levant's got the best batting average of the team at 500. <laughs> yes, he does. Well, he came in, he was hitting six, like it was, it was up uh, 600, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, he only so got two Gina RBIs today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, what a great, uh, like I say, timely hit. An amazing yeah. double that he hit that, that allowed uh, two runners, and I think one of them was uh, Billy LeBoyne, who was right. you know, not fast at all, but, uh, but allowed two runners to actually round the bases and, and come in to score. So, yeah, it was a great play by Deshaun Levant offensively. Defensively, like you said, he'd give up the hit, typically a double, and then that guy would just kind of stay there. Yeah, they never got farther than that. They never got across the. They definitely never got across the plate. So, good pitching by Deshaun Levant tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, over on the the saw teeth, um, Ramus Forrest goes three for four. I think, I think he was tense. He's only hit one sixty seven on the season, but he had a good day against us. Uh, luckily, they weren't able to do all that much. The one RBI coming from Kobe Kingman uh, gets that uh, double and uh, scores that first run, the only one, and then. Uh, yeah, five Ks. The three Ks for uh, what's his name on the mound. Yeah, so going to pitching. Yeah, Deshaun Levon gets that win. He goes eight innings, gets a little, gives up only eight hits, one per inning, one earned run, gets four strikeouts of his own. His ERA drops to a two seven zero, and now he evens his record up at one apiece. Great game. He's going to be the player of the game, I'm sure. Macy York comes in as a closer. She throws one inning, uh, gets a K of her own, and she's got no ERA. Yeah, yeah, and she had a had a good outing as well. Uh, over there for the saw teeth, Raul strikes takes the loss. Although he did pitch six innings, he gave up four hits and thir- three earned runs. He walked three, struck out three. Um, he leaves with an ERA of five point seven three, which is a drop. I think he came in at seven, mm-hmm. so he he even was able, even though he took the loss, was still able to drop his ERA. His record uh, falls to no wins, two losses. You got Simpleman. He came in. Pitched two thirds of an inning, gave up four hits and two runs, gave up a home run. His ERA is at 3.18. Uh, McConnell pitched a third of an inning, and then he <laughs> and uh, he leaves with an ERA of three, which I think was probably exactly what he had when he came in. Towers came in, pitched two innings, gave up two hits, two earned runs, one home run. His ERA is at a 4.26. So that's how the pitchers made out. Yeah, I mean strikes it doesn't look bad there. On you know six innings, only four hits, but the Three of those right. were big ones, and that's kind of one of the differences. Players yeah. of the game, Pete. <clears throat> like I called it. Players of the game. Oh, that's okay. So he gets charged with one of the earned runs from the Gina Torrance three-run homer. Mm, okay. I was going to say, how is it? How is it? Okay. Uh, first star of the game, of course, just like Tommy said, B plus, B minus. Ranked starting pitcher Deshaun Levon. He came in, pitched eight innings, gave up eight hits, an earned run, and had four Ks on the day. He did, followed closely behind by Gina Torrance, fighting to keep her job on the Beagles, the team she loves so much. She's she's uh, <laughs> She was playing at second base. She goes one for five, but with a home run, three RBIs, a three-run bomb. It was great to see, and she gets a run herself, crossing that plate on the home run. Yes, sir, and and let's. I, I gotta say, I'm I'm eating crow because she had a heck of a defensive game, deep in the hole, a, a playing shortstop. She had to go deep in the hole a couple times and make the throw, and she did, and she was able to gun guys down at first base. So, yeah. way to go, Gina. Third star of the game, Steve Von Stewart, the catcher. He was a pinch pinch hit for B, uh, Beavis or uh, Deshaun Levon. I'm sorry, <laughs> pinch hit for Deshaun Levon in the um, top of the ninth, wasn't it? It was the top yeah. of the ninth inning. Um, came in to pinch hit for Deshaun Levon. One for one, hits a home run, two RBIs, and he scored a run himself. So that's a pretty good day at the office. It is. Tommy G, five hits, no home runs, two RBIs, one great catch, two strikeouts for a 44%. And Pete J with five hits, two home runs, five RBIs, three strikeouts, and a 56% contribution. Yes, sir. Way to Just go. Is the only is second. I think it's the it's only the second time where I've been able to contribute a little bit more than my brother-in-law. <laughs> two, two bombs, two bombs. Wow! So that was boy. We needed that that um, that one. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's yeah, only, it's only our yeah, second. We played eight games. We got two wins. Yeah, that's not good at all. <laughs> but it's we but, got 
three more games in the first quarter of the season to get to 11. So if we can go on a tear here and win the next three, we could wind up at, uh, you know, what, five and six yeah. to close out, which really isn't too bad. Right. And the way they came alive with the offense today, um, I'm, I'm feeling yeah. good about this next game, especially at Colonial Plaza, where we generally play pretty well, I think. Yeah, and and like I said, we got we got a couple of long balls, which those have been missing for. We were saying before the last time we think we saw a home run was in the third game of the season, so it's been a while. Yeah, and most importantly, the return of Dex. Yes, Dex. and hopefully he's gonna. Well, hopefully he'll be able to step right in because he was really starting to come uh, come alive there before he went down. So hopefully he's gonna be able to step right in to that, and we won't have to go back to you know building him back up. But, yeah, yeah, what a game. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, the heaters are in town to play Platypi. Maybe maybe we catch that one. I don't know. <laughs> um, but the Moon Stars are going to be out, out facing the hot corners. We'll see We'll see how things come together. I guess I didn't even see. Is there any? I mean, okay, two things after the game. Uh, Ham Slamis has lowered his asking salary. <laughs> He's from 4.3 down to 4.2 million. Yeah, of course, because he saw Gina Torrance. <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> he right. Know, he to, knows the B-Wolves have been sniffing around. He's like, he, he figured it out. I, to, if, they, if they pick me up, they're going to pick me up to replace Torrance. Yeah, well, yeah, they talked to his his agent. They, you know, we, yeah. we, we, got, we, got, we got contacts. Yeah, so I still like Slamis. I think he's a good, he would be a good, good pickup. Um, you know, like we talked about before, I do like Gina Torrance. She's got the high numbers for contact and speed, she does. but then she's got those really no low numbers for um, arm and uh, contact uh, uh, power. Well, the thing with her is if she's, if she's playing second base, she really doesn't need a big arm to make those right. throws to first. Now, right. if it's, if she's throwing home, she's not going to throw home to beat, to beat a runner coming from, from third. Uh, I mean, she can possibly if they don't get a step, but um, and yeah, I mean, she's she's a solid contact hitter. I, I'm just I'm afraid, you know, we sell low and then you know give up the possible turnaround, you know, have her have like the career second half of the season and really vault us into the playoffs. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But like, because well, that's the other thing too is you want to make Freddie Knox the the second baseman. Yeah, possibly. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because that, then you kind of go, well, then I think it's Slamis. A is a cheaper cheaper backup for both Freddie Knox and Hanley Dexteris. And like I say, he's at least a 50 and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have the 20 arm. You know, he's everything's 50. And, and saving the money again, you're talking about, um, uh, you know, um, development. Yeah, you know, if you're starting, you know, because Gina Torrance got an opportunity to develop her arm, she was going to get a plus one. She go to twenty one. That's still negligible. That's yeah. not, <laughs> nothing. Well, let's, let's. Whereas Slam is being at least you know fifty and above. Yeah. Even a plus one put you know it starts moving you towards a, a, a much better ball player. Well, we got a live from the hive after game eleven, so maybe that's maybe that okay. quarter was a good a good time to. Take a, take yeah. a close look at player development. And like you say, we'll we'll take a look at Torrens over the next couple of games too. Yeah. Well, player development. So we got three, three out of six uh, options we could do right now: Eliza Peck, Hanley Dexteris, and Gina Torrens. Now, um, Eliza Peck got, uh, could do the long toss. She did one to her power and three to her arm, which is helpful. I mean, her arm's a uh-huh. seventy-five. That that's right. that could be it's possibly an eight. Um, that could be a big deal. That could be a real big deal for Eliza Peck, the 25 year And the Dexterous yeah. yoga classes, he adds one to his speed, which he's already a 91, which I don't think he I don't think he needs and a quarter of right. a million dollars for one point. Right. Seems... And at 92, it's not I mean the difference between 91 and 92 is negligible. You won't yeah. you won't even see it. Yeah. Now, um uh Gina Torres Jazzer size, you know, if you if you thought about keeping her, she could add two or seven to her speed, which would make her Bullet fast, and yeah. we run, like you said, which is kind of negligible. But uh, is the so to me, it looks like the Peck's the most attractive one. Yeah. Um, but it's going to remain for at least two more games. We don't have to spend any money now, but um, okay. But if you wanted to, that looks like a good 
I would go with that. Like we talked about that before. Yeah, if we can get her arm up to like 80 or 90, she'll start gunning guys out trying to steal second. Yeah. All right, let's purchase it then. We're going to spend $451,200 for a long toss for Liza Peck to work on that arm. Let's see how it goes, Pete. Rolling the dice. You sure you want to purchase it? That's what I just said, right? <laughs> Here it comes. She gets one on the power and plus three on the arm. Okay, she's so she's now a 41 power, which isn't bad, and a 78 arm. So yeah. a little bit a little bit better. You never know. And I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, she's getting, getting closer to that average power. Yeah. And that's uh, what's his face in the blowfish they're showing. I don't know why. I don't know why. They, they got to come up with a patch for that. To put the right picture after you make the purchase. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, what's his name from the, the Blowfish? Uh, their top guy. Anyway, so back to zero. All right, so there we go. So Eliza Peck's going to be, she's, she can pick up a ball and throw it, it says. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, good. All right, so uh, then we will take a break here. We're going to head down the coast a ways from center of California to southern California, way southern. We're going to be in San Diego playing at the Colonial Plaza, where we're going to take on the old Moon Stars. That's a that's a, a team I always like playing in a building I always like playing in. So excited to hopefully turn this into a two game streak, Pete. Yes, sir. That's that's what we, what we, we that's what we got to do. We got to take the next one, and then we got the Warblers, and then and then the Sandcats. Definitely games we can win. Yeah, looking at that schedule real quick. Yeah, home. Yeah, that we we yeah, home for the Warblers and the Sandcats. That'll be that'll be nice before not the easy. Okay, so. Yeah. Until then, this is Tommy G. And this is PJ. And we are saying, get out of here.